Hi, um, good afternoon. I'm still in the UK. It's, uh, it's actually a nice day today. It was snowing yesterday and the day before it was, uh, it was the sun was blazing. So typical UK weather, we don't know what's going. Um, at the moment is uh, Hong Kong. Uh, it's a bit strange place at the moment. You can't actually physically get back into Hong Kong from the UK. So there's a few places that they've stopped, the UK being one of them, uh, South Africa being another one. So if you're watching from South Africa, you guys can't go to Hong Kong either. Anyway, this is more, this, 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 this sort of is more relating to um, Octopus, and which is one of the utilities in the UK. Um, one of the major benefits in the UK is obviously we've got no sunshine and we're having to use the batteries to store electricity to use when it's cheaper, So, which is which is obviously a very valid point. Of course, if you've got solar panels, it makes a big difference because um, I know lots of people are using solar panel with our battery also is fantastic because rather than exporting the power um, and getting absolutely nothing for it, you just put it into your battery and you use it at night time when the sun's not shining. So it's really, really useful um, using a battery. But anyway, I'm actually going to focus on octopus and trying to explain some of the myths about using octopus energy. Uh, and they're no different to other utilities. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And, and in fact, this is um, this, this is a website it is written from a from a friend. It's called energy stat stats.uk. And it's, it's, a, it's a guy I've, I've met uh, only on the Internet. and He's produced this amazing site. And in fact, he's comparing two sites uh, two two tariffs. Sorry. One is called Go Go Faster, which is aimed for electric vehicles. And you can see here. Um, the, 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 and in fact, what he's got is the charges vary across the UK slightly. And you can see above it is that there's the various charges, what the charges Scotland uh, for the peak rate and then off peak. And as you go, you see the price plummets to 5p a kilowatt hour and it comes back up again um, to about 14p. It's, it's probably a little bit more than that now. So it's, the site, I guess, is a, little, is a few years old. And so you can see the difference between the, the two tariffs and um, between the, 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 the high price and the low price. Um, I, I'm not too sure what the price at the moment would be. Um, but, the, but the bottom line of it is, it is a two tier. And in fact, if you look and um, the, the low time is, only a ver is between midnight and 4.30. And there's lots of there's various tariffs. So you can go on the price comparison. And this is just an economy seven dual tariff straightforward. Uh, I think these have been around for a long, long time where people use them as storage heaters. The interesting thing that I'm going to look at is this one called the Octopus Agile Tariff. Um, so the Octopus Agile Tariff is a completely different is a completely different thing. And what is gone shown on here is the average pricing. And it's based on a 24 period. It's, it's based on a variable price pricing right throughout the day and as you look through the day you see the prices vary and from about four o'clock until um about six just uh, seven o'clock so you see from there to about four o'clock till seven o'clock there's a huge price hike and in fact if you see here it's, it's going up to sort of 33 34p uh, kilowatts and um, from 4p from from here it shoots up so you can see just between those periods between four o'clock and seven o'clock so five, six, seven, three hours, just three hours, the price goes, shoots up. Um, and it, and this is this is being plotted. This is average daily pricing. And then you can see the rest of the time, the price is much lower. Most of the time it's, it's 13.57. And at night time, it, it drops. Now, there are times when it will drop very low and they often have negative times. And you can see on this site, one of the things, one of the interesting things, that's taken an average um, what what he has actually got is on 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 the site. Uh, this is actually about the tariff, but I'm just going to go back and get one of the things he's actually got is he's actually got the the prices per per area because the prices vary depending on where you live. So let us come a little bit further close to where I am from is 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 sort of the Merseyside area, and in fact you see here the, the, the this is the price uh, over over the period. And in fact, what he's got is he's, he's plotted it out over um, half hour pricing over most current 48 hour data. And so there's two, there's two, it's, it's two days. So you can see there's two peaks on here. Uh, and then you can see, you can see that how, how, the, how the price goes. But what I was particularly interested here is there are, if you look on this, this, this graph is the easiest one to, one to see, but you can see there are trends uh, where the price is low. So 
we can do one or two things. We can integrate with our new app, which will be available soon. And, and with the app will actually give real time and it will adjust the inverter to charge when the price goes cheap. But nevertheless, you could actually just simply using um, a real time clock. So you could just for now, um, you can use real time clock and you simply set your battery level here and you'd be charging at night time. And you, you, you know the general trends from where you live uh, and you can see that you, so, you can see the sorts of the time scales. And th this is actually quite a nice one here. And so you see from around 2.30 until about four o'clock, the price is, is this price. Um, and then you know at a certain time of day, um, at four o'clock, it's going to rocket. And you see the four o'clock, it rockets down. And by the time you come back to seven o'clock, it will start dropping down and dropping down. So, you know, you don't want to be using, um, you don't want to be using that much electricity during that period. So you can, you can choose and you can, you can basically, you can say, right, okay, I'll, I'll switch over at four o'clock onto battery and see how it goes and discharge the batteries throughout that period. And by the time midnight comes, the battery, if there's enough power, it will go back onto the AC itself because AC coupled, that's the beauty of our system. There's no clunk click or whatever, it's just AC coupled. And so you can run the battery uh, as it will and use what you want. And hopefully you've got enough and you, you, you're running until, uh, it, 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 until later on in the evening when the price plummets. And you can see from this graph, you can see how, how, how it's, put. and this is actually showing from North Wales. Of course, different parts of the country is, is, is very different. So if you're, if you're in uh, Birmingham and if you're in, in, in London, then the rates are very different. I will put a link for this site. So please look at this site. Uh, it's really interesting, but it makes a massive use. Um, roughly the saving, if you're using the agile saving, um, then you, you looking at sort of the general figures, you're probably going to save about 35% of your electricity bill. But it's not, it's not sort of going to save you. If you've got solar panels, of course, it's even better. But if you're using the straightforward agile, you're probably going to save around 35% realistically. Um, if you've got if you use economy seven, then of course you can save 60%, but the cost of your batteries are much more expensive. So what I often suggest is maybe start off and do the ad start off with this system. If it works well, then you can upgrade and upgrade and get more batteries. But I'm not sure the, the, the calculations against the cost of the batteries against the saving. I'm not sure how it will, will pan out, but certainly if you're using a very basic system, a simple battery, a simple inverter, then you're going to be winding back your electricity prices for a long, long time back in the, in, in the past. So you, you, you're using electricity what it used to be many years ago, um, rather than today's skyrocket pricing. And pricing is going to go up more. We know that. And we know we don't need batteries because of electric vehicles and everything else. So I'll talk further about what we're doing in our developments in some of the other videos. But just this is just a basic introduction. You know, battery, inverter, save money. You've got solar panel, save even more money. And, and you know, I, I, I saw a price comparison site recently, and it was talking about... Um, export prices he says well you know one company is offering and i'm not going to name the companies one company is offering three pence a kilowatt hour another one four pence a kilowatt another five pence a kilowatt hour i think well done. how much are you paying so even if you've got an agile system you're paying what 12p average if you're on if you're on normal electricity like most people you may be paying up to 20p um so if you're paying 20p a kilowatt hour and you export for 3p well that doesn't make sense why would you sell it for less than you're paying for it you know, people do that. They're crazy. You know, you, you, it's like going to the shop. It's like you, you, you're buying something. I, you know, I go, I go and buy lots of the, I go and buy lots of whatever, and they cost me, um, they cost me twenty pence, and I'm going to sell it for three pence the same product. And people say you're mental, you're mad, or you go and fill your your your, your car up with, with 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 petrol, gasoline and you put a uh, hundred pounds of fuel in your car and somebody says oh well i'll buy it back off you for 20 pounds okay i'll sell it back to you for 20 pounds and tomorrow we're going to pay another hundred pounds to fill it back up again <laughs> you're not going to do it and that's what's going with electricity people are exporting power back to the grid for little money and paying a lot more money to buy the electricity back it's crazy just shove it in your battery put it in your battery and you will save money 
these things are dead easy to fit. So, you know, the SunSync system is one of the best. So that's my, my sort of blog to today. Um, so any questions, please be, please be free to ask me. Thanks a lot.